Hi, Kate. Hi, Hi. Peter. Hi, Natasha. <laughs> so we are here in rainy Vancouver, mm -hmm. and you're both running tomorrow. One, the full marathon, Peter, and one, the half marathon, Kate. That's right. And uh, you've been in Vancouver all week. So you came in for the Sun Run last weekend. So how's it going? How are you enjoying your trip? Uh, we're loving it. The weather's been great, and uh, the Sun Run went, went really well. We enjoyed that. It was a great event. And uh, we're really looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, for the half in the fall. Yeah, we've been sitting around all week. The weather's <laughs> been great. But uh, we haven't been able to do a lot of the things that we want to in Vancouver. A lot of the outdoor stuff because we're getting ready for this second race. Mm -hmm. uh, I hear you were able to go up to Whistler and see yeah. Yeah. it. Yeah, a couple of day trips. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So you're going to move here now? <laughs> Maybe. We, we, we'd like to, yeah. yeah. We left two feet of snow uh. <laughs> to come here. Awesome. So I, uh, what are the goals for tomorrow? Um, for me, I want to be um, competitive, so I'd like to be up in the front with whoever is up front, and I'd also like to PB. I've never broken 116, so I definitely like to be under that, and uh, yeah, as fast as I can. Good. Um, for the win. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. W. I'm not going for the win. <laughs> um, I'll do the fall, so I'm hoping for 235 around there. It's a tough course, but that would be a PB for me. It's a good race for me because I actually get water bottles at this, at this race. Yes, you're 235, 235 doesn't, get, doesn't get you a lead at many marathons, so it's good. Yeah. So you've been here all week, two of you, but it's not. There's three. Uh huh, there's a little one. So tell us a bit about what it's been like, you know, with, her. with running and the baby. Okay, so Amelia, she's 13 months old, and uh, she's she's got a lot of miles in her because uh, we run with a stroller a lot. Um, well, not in the winter; that's been brutal. Um, yeah, so we generally would take the stroller and go together, or we would take turns and tag team. I'd go, then he'd go, vice versa. Yeah, but it's been good. Not so bad. Hard on sleep at first. It was it was a tough winter. In the in the fall, we could use the. Um, the chariot, which I highly recommend for any parents who run. It's an extremely ergonomic machine, um, and I do workouts with it and everything. Yeah. Uh, but the winter was tough because we had to take turns a lot running, but now now, now the snow is almost gone, we can get it running together. Wow. So what's yeah. been the biggest change in your running and your training now that you have Amelia? Amelia. Um, tired. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know, not too much really. I guess the fact that we can't run together all the time, you know, for workouts and stuff, and long runs. We've had a babysitter twice in Corner Brook, and both times was to go for a long run, not like for a date night. So we did do long run together. Yeah, we don't, we don't look for Oh yeah, it hasn't been bad. It's been to any family or anything. So, so Corner Brook. Yeah. For most of Canada, they don't know right. where this yeah. is. So that. Tell us, where, 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 is, where it? is it, and how do you run out there? Who do you train with? Like, um, it's on the west coast of Newfoundland, and it's a beautiful spot. Um, it's not super runner friendly. There's no trail network, and they don't salt the roads and stuff, so this winter was interesting. Um, a lot of running on snow and highway. Um, but yeah, no, we like it. And, uh, we do have a ski hill. As much skiing as running this year. <laughs> Do you have any other people you can train with? Right. Get some workouts done with? Um, a couple people, but not many. No, so it's kind of lonely. Do a lot alone. Um, let's make it up together. So, I guess I'm guessing with the winter and the five months of snow you've had, there's been a lot of treadmill. There has, yeah, more than I would, you know, care for. Um, but I'm kind of used to it. Yeah. We're tough. We're tough. Well, I I know that you're tough because <laughs> in January you debuted in the marathon nine months after giving birth to a yeah. baby and you ran 240 yeah. in Houston? Yeah, 240 in Houston. Wow. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you managed to train for a marathon in nine months? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was good. Um, my coach, Matt Lizelle, um, really kind of eased me in back into training. And so my mileage was never super high. 
Um, but it was just enough so that it was easy to manage the transition of starting to train again with the baby and uh, keep it so, you know, injury wasn't ever on the radar or anything. Um, yeah, so I just started training again in September and I wanted a goal to break up the winter before spring, so I decided to do the marathon and see what happened. And I was pleased. So I'm looking forward to the next one. The next the one. The next one. Being? Um, Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon is the plan in October. Awesome. So I'd like to definitely improve on my 240. There's lots of room for improvement, I think. So hopefully closer, hopefully I like to dip under the 235. Yeah, I know it's a big jump, but. And looking kind of bigger picture, like where do you see yourself maybe 2015, 2016, are there you know, some big goals? Um, the plan is to run and train hard unless having babies. <laughs> so I'd, I would like to expand on, on, uh, on the Baisley clan, but, uh, like to have a couple more. No, but until then, yeah, no, I'd like to, a couple? I like to keep, <laughs> keep improving on my times and, and run faster and maybe qualify for, you know, um, more national teams or even a world championship team or something so I can get under the 235. So would world cross country next spring be on your agenda? Would that be something you Yeah, it would. Yeah, I've made a couple, like three I think, um, national cross country teams, but I've only ever gone to the NACAC event, which is great, but uh, I would really like to, to go to world, so yeah. China. Oh, fun. Yeah. That'd be cool. It would be, yeah. Go together. Teammates. <laughs> We've been roommates. Yes. It's been fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She likes to eat a lot of bananas. I do. You want to tell the world about your addiction to bananas? Well, I'm, I get hungry. <laughs> I get hungry. <laughs> I get hungry. <laughs> so, Peter, you're running a marathon tomorrow. You yeah. wanted to run under 235. What is? Yeah. What have you run before for a marathon? 236. 236? Yeah. So, does it scare you a bit that she's going to be coming for yeah, that in the next closer, few years? She's getting closer and closer and closer. My goal is just to stay ahead. <laughs> so, yeah. That's good though that you guys can be able to do some we're training actually, together and work close. together to do this. Yeah. We bad. do work us and we're, yeah, we're very close. Yeah. He's still always ahead of me though. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. Really. Yeah, you know, have to, have to support good. me. That's right. That would be good. You have to be happy if I pass it. That's awesome. Yeah. So, did you guys meet? Sorry, I'm not. I'm like, I'm now coming into the interview. It's kind of weird, but uh, did you guys? You guys met running. How did we like did. when and uh, tell Moral, us about that? More University cross country. Uh, so you, so you're both, you're both in college and yeah, yeah, uh, the cross country teams. That's nice. So running brought you together. They did. Yeah. It's nice. nice. Aww, it is nice. Another running, Kate and Peter. That's helped keep us close. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys get competitive? No. We don't really. No. Well, I don't. I don't know about him, but... <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, it's been really fun, you know, chatting yep. here in Vancouver. Yeah. And, uh... Thanks for chatting with us. So, after this, you know, what's the next few months look like for you guys? Um, head back home. Uh, I think we're going to do Ottawa 10K in a couple weeks, three weeks, and then something in June, either Scotia half here in Vancouver or one um, in St. John's, Newfoundland. Um, that was the Telly 10, yeah. our big one at home. When's that? In July, July 27th, 10 miler. Um, that's, that's the big one, that's the show for Newfoundland, so yeah, that's like one of my, that's my main race of the year, really. I've heard of it. Yeah. Most of Canada's heard of it. Yeah. Have they? Yeah, okay. I mean, like you all, you've heard of it. We, yeah, have, we yeah. just know that we've heard of it, so. Yeah. No, yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. good one. It's so good. what's More a good popular. what's a what's a fast ten mile time there? Well, the women's record is fifty five forty seven, so I'm gonna be trying to break that this year. Um, yeah, it's fast course, so. Wow. Well, it is an FF. It's not an easy record, but I should be able to do it hopefully. I think you. Will. Yeah, and the guys' time is. Uh, the record. 47 flat. Four. Yeah. Breaking 50 is really good. That course. 
So it seems like things are starting to come together for you and that this whole yeah, baby hopefully. thing is, you know, done well for you. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully I get some of that mama strength I uh, keep hearing about. Maybe I got it. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Mommy power? Yeah.